young people in Regent Park are sharing their stories through a film series. The Regent Park Project looks at everything from peer pressure to cultural clashes, tense interactions with police. One of the films in this series features a character who attends private school thanks to a scholarship. You at least get to be who you want to be. I don't get to be who I want to be. But just look at the benefits. So what? It can't be that hard. It can't be that hard? Do you know how hard it is to be around people who don't understand you? I do. No, you don't. Listen, all I'm saying is that it's a really nice school. It's nice. And I don't... Great. But it doesn't do anything to help me. It really does. No. You guys went out to the lake today for gym. That storyline is based on Tajveen Kazi's experience. She's an actress and writer in the project, also a grade 12 student at Jarvis Collegiate Institute and is with me in studio now. Good morning. Good morning. Also with us in studio is Sheena Robertson, artistic director of Kickstart Arts, who began this film project more than two years ago? Yes. Good morning to you. Hello. Um, tell me about the scene that we just heard and, and, and the, the experience that it's taken from. Um, so the scene is Kalima, who is based on my story, and she's with her friend Aisha. And they're just talking about how she goes to private school and Aisha goes to public school and how it's so different. And she's just complaining about that. Um, Sorry, what was the second one? Well, part? and that's 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 it. I mean, yeah, it, it comes just, from your life experience. Yeah, this is basically. something that, that 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 happened to you. You you got a scholarship and you went to private school. Yes. What was that like? It was a surreal experience. Um I just thought it was something that was going to work for me and it didn't. Like I couldn't do it after 2 years. What was surreal about it? It was the fact that like out of hundreds of students, I was chosen to go there and it was like something that I never dreamt of ever being able to do. Did you feel welcome when you were at school? For the most part, yeah. Um, but it just wasn't the right fit for me. And so you left after a couple of years? Yes. Why did you make that decision and how did you make that decision? Um, I didn't want to stay after the first year I stayed there, but I'm like, maybe I should give it a shot. Maybe things will turn around. They'll, it'll just feel more right. But again, I just I didn't feel like I fit in. I didn't feel like it was the right place for me to be at. Um, and I did see that it was affecting my education, so I needed to make a stri strategic strategic decision of leaving the school. Affecting your education, that's interesting, because a lot of people would think that the, the effect would be positive to yeah. get a scholarship and go to a private school. You're saying that it wasn't. It wasn't. What is it about uh, her story, Sheena, that, that, that struck a chord with you? Well, I think, uh, like a lot of young women, uh, Tajveen was sort of ca caught between cultures. Like one of the things as a former teacher in the community that I was always struck by was how often, uh, for many of the youth, both boys and girls, but I think specifically for girls, that they would have sort of one foot in their home culture and one foot in the school culture. And I think maybe if I, you tell me if I'm right about this, that in the public schools, there would be other girls that were Muslim, who wore hijabs, who uh, who who had more similar life experiences to you yeah. compared to a private school where that was really not the the experience. And that sounds yeah. familiar? Yes, yeah, so yeah. definitely. What about turning that into a, a film? What sort of impact has, has that had on you? In, in, I mean, it's your story. Yeah. W what's that been like for you? It's it's really amazing because um, where when we re recreated it, it was like my sister was playing my life and just seeing her like that and seeing that that's what I used to be like in those two years of my life just reminds me that, oh, like I'm glad I left because even though it's shaped who I am, this is who I am today. And I'm mm. like, I'm glad with who I am. In, in running this project for a couple of years, um, what have you learned about why it's important for young people like Tajreen to, to tell their own stories? I think there are lots of reasons. I, I think that there are, that you sort of have a way of processing things that happen to you when you create art with them. Um, you know, we, we see that with another another story that, that, I, that you guys were talking about earlier where uh, a young man had an interaction with a police officer. And even though the actor that's in the scene is not the person whose story it actually was, he's had similar experiences. And so by being part of that, by being able to work through that and step into the the shoes of an actor and think, work it through, mm -hmm. he's been able to process a lot of things that he's had uh, in terms of his own experience. Let's have a listen to that scene from that film. Don't get smart with me. Where are you going? We're going home. Right. But where's home? Are you looking for trouble? What is your address? 239 Suma. 
this your girlfriend? No. It's my little sister. I'm walking around. Where's home. your mom? She couldn't come pick her up. She was sick today. What's in the bags? Groceries. What's a kid like you doing buying groceries? In Regent Park, um, these stories I, would be familiar ones. Um, getting them out, uh, what is the, 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 the benefit of that? Well, one of the big goals of this project in general is that we're really interested in creating dialogue across communities. Yeah. So if you grow up in that community, you know that those things happen. They happen to everyone. And if, you, if, if they don't happen to you personally, you see them happening or they happen to your brother. But I think a lot of other people don't, uh, maybe might hear the police story, but they don't understand the impact of it. And I think a big, m one of my big beliefs is that if, as Canadians, we're really very kind people and we want good things in the world. And if we know that things are happening, then we can change them. If we can create a dialogue, then we can move forward. We'll send people to Daniel Spectrum to see these short films tonight. Thank you both for coming in. Thank, Thank you. you. Tajveen Kazi is an actress and writer with the Regent Park Project. Sheena Robertson, artistic director of Kickstart Arts, non for nonprofit or organization that works to empower through art. Those eight short films play tonight, 7.30 at the Daniel Spectrum. It's free. Donations to the program are welcome. Here's Pat.